Hello people, welcome back to the PAL channel. Yes, yes, we're out for a walk and a bike. And today we're gonna go down what they say is one of the roughest streets, sort of areas in Gloucester, which is coming up to the top end of Barton Street right now. So take a little look. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film because it's a wee bit of a rough round here. So the camera might go on and off, but we'll cut it together. Eh? I'll give you an idea. I don't think it's that bad, but it depends what time of night you come. Now this building's really interesting. This is an old church. Um, it was up for sale about 15, 20 years ago for 105,000. It was an absolute shout. Obviously they've turned it into flats now, but I was looking at that as an opportunity at one point. I wish I'd had it now. I think it's been turned into about eight flats. But yeah, it was just a shell. There was no roof on it or anything, but yeah, wow. Wow. So, we will continue. This is the, um, the top ends. I'm not even sure if they call this bit Barton Street. I think it goes on to Barton Street in a minute. I think this is like Checkers End. So, I'll just do a little bit of filming and then we'll cut it to the next little bit there, people. Because otherwise, you're going to be here for a bloody long time walk do you know what i'm saying but there is the chippy there so like i say i've got to show you the chippy the chippy is um quite a good one actually yeah it's quite a good one but yeah peace one of two hope you like these sort of videos i'm just sort of um doing a little bit um different do you know what i mean today normally i've you know what i mean i vary about a little bit but i thought you know i've seen a few videos where people are doing sort of walks down this area Oh wow, look at that house. They've really cleaned that one up, haven't they? That one looks really nice. Yeah, that one looked a mess for years, it did. Look at these palm tree things that they've got. I say the houses, they're pretty cool, aren't they? But yeah, I'll probably come across quite a few hostile people down here. So we won't do too much filming. Do you know what I mean? Where there's a lot of people <coughs> out and about do you know what I mean just out of respect we don't want to cause any problems anyway but it looks all right at this end doesn't it this end doesn't look too bad but it's when you it's when you turn the corner in a minute do you know what I mean yes people I think they call this uh, Painswick Road this bit which Painswick Road then goes on to Barton Street and that's where the fun begins it is like ethnic city saying that i've woken up with a bindi this morning can you see i don't know if the camera's picking it up i've got a bindi i woke up with a bindi i don't know i went to bed well, i had three beers and then i woke up and basically i turned into another religion there's the old checkers there good chippy that good chippy that right then salam close that's that got made a few years back that did look at that property there i was just looking at the front door absolutely boarded up look at that madness isn't it yeah interesting stuff god look at that tree they got some real interesting trees in some of these gardens do you know what i mean i bet that was planted in the old victorian times lived down around there somewhere years ago bloody hell it brings back memories because like i say i've like I say i've lived in this area look at the train look at the train look at the train yeah the old friendship cafe that's nice isn't it it's nice right we'll just turn the camera off here and i'll put it back on down the road a little bit because otherwise it's going to be boring for you do you know what i mean the old St. James's Club there. Look at that building. That is a fantastic sort of, um, I don't know, it just looks, I like it, it looks nice. It needs to clean up. Architecture, that's the word I'm looking for. I think there was, um, I think to be honest with you, there was a few um, incidents around this area here. I think there was a few stabbings. I'm sure that lad got stabbed around here. Um, there's been a lot in Gloucester just recently. There's been an awful lot, certainly ranked by us as well in my neighbourhood. Um, 
But yeah, dang near, I'm pretty sure that it's around this area here that that lad lost his life. So, pretty rough. There's been a fair few over the years, do you know what I mean? Wolf signs, look at that old sign there, look. It's just, um, it's just rough, it's just rough. I mean, this, this used to be a great place, this place here, Sabino's, do you know what I mean? That used to be the place. I don't know, like, it looks obviously shut now. Maybe it's just the shutters, maybe they open up later. They used to be a good, good place to go and get a kebab, do you know what I mean? It's relatively quiet today, which is good for me to film, because like I say, if there's people about, I won't be filming. Because it just will, um, it'll cause aggravation, should we say. So we'll just like say, well, it's nice and quiet, I can show you. But yeah, top end of Painswick Road going into Barton Street now. Quite quiet up this end. You'll see it'll transform in a minute when we get to the other end. Okay, tire stop there, people, if you need some tires. Stop there. You know what I mean? Support local businesses. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. It's rough around here. Get out of there. We've got the old new Cantonese there. I don't particularly think that's a very good one, but not eating there years, years and years. Like I say, I've, I had that years ago, it wasn't very good, but do you know what I mean? People can change, can't they? Businesses change, especially like 20 or 30 years. So that's where your taxes come from, people. Hope you're enjoying this useless little video, do you know what I mean? But you know what I mean? If you want to see what it looks like in other towns, rough parts of towns, this is the video for you, do you know what I mean? Barwood Constructions in there, look, you know what I mean? Oh, that is them, that is Barwood Construction. Look at that. There you are, bit of free advertising for everyone here, look, there you are, I'll do some free advertising for you. There you go. So if you need your lawns, your health, safe, there you go, it's all free, it's all free. I can't help it if it's on the camera, can I? Do you know what I mean? See the old vape, vape shop there? God, can you see it's looking a bit rougher now, isn't it, look? Can you see? I say I've had a few experiences in properties down here, up and down here over the years, and they've all been rough. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's pretty. Dude, look at the graffiti. They've done a lot of that around the city, to be fair. It looks quite nice. So, yeah, we'll go and have a look at that. If I can cross the bloody road. That place has been there for donkey's years. And I mean donkey's years, Mitchell's. Right, I'm gonna go across here. Cause this looks quite nice, so. Yeah, it looks like the community are really trying to do something with it, which is lovely. Just brighten it up a little bit. You know what I mean? Look at that, how nice is that? Yeah, man. go that's nice isn't it yeah it's nice when communities make an effort you know what I mean things might be rough and not so nice but you can always make it a little bit better do you know what I'm saying and that is proof that you know what I mean communities come together and they try and make things better and it does look nice, that area is really nice, apart from the rubbish hall at the end there, but you know what I mean? That's another story, do you know what I mean? That place, I think that place used to be like a kid's play area, I think, but it's a Polish supermarket now, with a great big mask outside it, look at that. It's huge, that mask is. Right, obviously, here we go. We've got the cop shop here, people. Phoenix Chef, oh, that's where Phoenix Chef is. 
We've got Budgeons behind us there, which used to be a Sainsbury's, but it didn't last um, very long as a Sainsbury's. I think they had a lot of thefts and a lot of issues and stuff like that. So I think Budgeons, they're more used to that sort of thing. So they've taken over, do you know what I mean? It's one of them, isn't it? But yeah, can you get a gist of it? This is, this is the area now. This is the area, can you see? This is where it gets a little bit sketchy, yeah? And then obviously, you've got the police station. This is just there. It's a little police station. It is. I don't know why it's there, because they do fuck all anyway, do you know what I mean? So... As you can see, that's Barton Street. That's for the sign, Barton Street. Police station. So, yeah. It's been there years. As long as I know anyway, to be fair, it's been there. Oh, wow. What an experience. So, you see, top end of a police van there. There they are. Right. It's getting into the more sketchy bit now, so the camera will be going on and off, but we'll, like I say, we'll patch it all together, do you know what I mean? Wow, this looks really nice up here. I'm trying to do a rough video, and they've, they've, they've brightened it up everywhere. I mean, look at that. It's amazing. And it's all down the street as well. It's all down the street. Can you see the colours? It's amazing. It looks really nice down here. I think the effort's gone in and the quality, it looks... It wasn't like this last time I've been down here, I tell you. So I'm like trying to make a video where it looks all rough and it's like, <laughs> it looks lovely. No, it don't look lovely, but you can see. They've made an effort with it and that's really, really nice. all sorts of shops and things down here big lorry there upper kitchen yep oh am i gonna get down there oh this feels a bit creepy <laughs> Now that felt a bit spooky going through that. I thought he was going to sort of move out at any minute, do you know what I mean? Spook me out. Yeah. Right then, so... That's a bit of a mess, that one, isn't it? Look at that one. But it'll be, it'll be, you know, somebody will put the money into it. It's like when, when buildings are at that state, they, do you know what I mean? There's only one way they can go, and that's, that's, that's up. And that ain't ready to be demolished yet, is it? It just needs a new roof on it and uh, probably about 20 or 30 thousand pounds worth of work to be done on it. And it'll be all right, maybe more than that. Maybe more than that. Right then, so that used to be a really famous pub, that. I think it's just a supermarket now. But as you can see, the old Fox Lynn, look how beautiful it is. There's, uh, there's a lot of old photographs of that actually online. If you have a look at the Vauxhall Inn, you'll see what it was like in its, its glory. Beautiful pub. But as you can see now, it's, it's, um, it's no longer a pub, which is a shame. So how, many, how many pubs do you get on with that sort of decor to it? You know what I mean? That is pretty amazing. That is pretty amazing. Yeah. Like I say, it's a, just a little supermarket now. I mean, at least the building's being used for something, but wow, let's just cross over and I can just show you. Look at the quality of that. Look at the workmanship in it. You just don't get that anymore, do you? Look at it, Look at the quality of it. Yeah, so there you go. Admiring one of the older pubs from around here. So, I just turned the camera to me because there's a lot of people around now. Ooh, this is the theatre. I think um, 
Annika Rice did something in here. Do you know when she done that challenge? That challenge Annika, when she went to things and she improved it and things like that. Um, basically, she came here and improved this theatre. And look at it now. That's well improved. Well improved. I mean, that is just like years old, isn't it? See you now. But yeah, they did a challenge Annika there and they, they, they basically get a load of people to do a load of work for free. So they get like carpenters, painters, decorators, all people from the community and they all get involved and they either do a house up or do a community center up. This, this, this episode, they basically, they did the, um, the theater up, yeah. But that was many, many years ago and a challenge Annika was many, many years ago. So, little church mosque there or something I think, there's, there's a lot round here, like I said I have to be a little bit careful because people will get offended. I've done quite well, I've come down nearly all of it without actually being tackled by anyone yet, so, which is a really, really good thing, but just keep the camera pointed at me, you can still get an idea of things and things and stuff. So, yes people. And then we got One Eyed Jacks, lovely pub that is. That's a cracker. It's a nice place to go and have a pint, that one, I'm telling you. It's not bad, it's not bad. Like I say, I'm from Gloucester, so I'm mingling with everybody. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm saying? Milanio Barbershop. Good mosque there. Oh, the smell, the food smells great down here. Okay, so we really have made it to the end of the, the the road and I've not really had to turn the camera off just the first bit which was Painswick Road but yeah I didn't I've walked all the way down wow yeah man well this building here used to be a B and Q back in the day but they had exceptional theft problem from there so they closed the store just everything got nicked. It's now, uh, is it a go outdoors? A go outdoors? Something like that? Yeah, man. There we go, so. That is. So there's Barton Street. walk into the rough area and into another rough area now so people who like these areas of rough walkings you're getting a treat from me today yeah you're getting a treat so quite a rough place this is as well like I say you're on the cross here of obviously where Barton Street is so you get quite a lot of issues up there to be fair um, but most of it is probably down here this bit which as you can see is a little bit busier it's going into the town area you've got like the swimming baths there or a leisure centre so it tends to be quite a busy area but this is like I say this is this is where it gets quite busy on in, on the night time and um, this was the pub here where the bouncer was I believe he was stabbed outside he died as well that was a few years back now but yeah you may remember that being in the news, but so, you know what I mean, it's, um, it's that nightclub there, it's pretty mad, isn't it? He was only young as well. I don't know, what is, what's it called now? It's, they've changed the name of it, obviously. Had a few issues with it. I think it used to be like public um, baths or something back in the day. Because look at the buildings, very, yeah, Gloucester Public Baths. So it's the old public baths, that is.
There you go. So the old public bath is now the nightclub. But yeah, it's got a bit of history about it, do you know what I'm saying? It's got a little bit of history. But yeah, I would have loved to have seen that when it was public baths and that, you know what I mean? It's mad, isn't it? That's an era that I just, you know what I mean? I know I'm old, but I don't remember that era. I don't remember that era at all because obviously I was too young. So going back to the street now, it's quite busy. Um, I think that used to be a club there. Bar and, bar and thingy there. The gates, that's changed hands quite a few times. Yeah, people. So we're showing you all today, do you know what I mean? You're getting to see literally one of the roughest streets in Gloucester through and through. It's Barton Street coming onto this one, which is I think Eastgate Street now. You know what I mean? We've gone from Painswick Road to Barton Street to Eastgate Street. Yeah. Rough as a badger's ass. And that's where there was a lot of trouble in that bar there. It wasn't called Roxy's, I don't think. That's where some guy got beaten up really, really badly. I don't know, again, he was like a, I think he was a tramp. I don't know if he died. But yeah, there's a lot of shit gone down here. Yeah. Living in Gloucester, I remember most of it. This, this end looks, looks, um, surprisingly, it looks rougher than the, um, than the Barton Street area down there. It looks a lot rougher. Do you know what I mean? So, but, We'll do more like this, people. We're gonna do more like this. Yeah. There's a cracking bar there. Oh, wow, look at that. That's lush. It's the nicest thing down here, isn't it? Look at that. The Ivy House. Yeah, man. Oh, two lats. Two lats. It's two lats. Yeah, like I say, if you want to see more like this, we can we can do this. I like walking around. I'm not sure walking around in dodgy places is a good idea, but I guess I'll do it. I've just got to do it carefully and safely. And I guess when you're filming yourself, people don't mind so much as when you've got a camera in somebody's face and they don't like that and that's fair enough isn't it not everyone wants to be filmed they're not coming out for that so i, I understand yeah parkings. there's fever that's where me and our ninja met we met in that club there we reminisce we're gonna need to go back there one day do you know what i mean i love set yeah, we'll end it here. We'll end it here at Fever. We'll end it here at Fever. Is there a bingo all there? No more bingo in Gloucester. Yeah, man. Well, at least we got the pub, the doctor's there anyway. So that's one thing. That's quality. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, thanks, people. Thanks for watching the video. Why? Another dark and dingy alley. But yeah, thanks for uh, watching the video. Really, really appreciate that. Give it a like, subscribe, all that jazz. And if you want to see more of this, stick some comments in and I'll be back really, really soon, yeah? Thanks for watching. If you got to the end of this, you're a champion. Cheers to all my um, subscribers out there. And thank you to all my members and my new members as well. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys really, really soon. Peace.